have problems with insects damaging our lawns. And there's a couple different insects that we really have problems with here in Cache Valley. One is the white grub, uh, second is the billbug larva, and the third is the sod webworm. I'm going to show you what they look like. Um, I've got a couple pictures here we can take a look real fast. Uh, white grubs tend to uh, show up around the first part of July and last throughout the summer and uh, will nibble on the root system and they tend to be about oh two inches below the surface and there's a picture right there of what the white grub looks like. And they, uh, they'll get about an inch maybe an inch and a half long sometimes and uh, they're about two inches an inch to about two inches below the surface you know about that that deep and they're just nibbling on your lawn they come from a beetle actually we, we see them mostly around here from May and June beetles and uh, they do quite a bit of damage in a very short amount of time so all of a sudden yellow patches will start in your lawn and they'll gradually increase in size uh, Bill bugs tend to do a very similar damage as well too. And the bill bugs, the larvae, look just like white grubs. But the adults look a little bit different. There's the adults right there. And if you can focus in on that. Uh, bill bugs, black beetles, about uh, three quarters of an inch to an inch long. And their larvae are smaller. They look just like the white grubs, but they're much, much, much smaller. And uh, they're only about a half inch to maybe at the most an inch below the surface. And they just nibble on the grass as well too, and do a lot of damage in also a very short amount of time. Probably the bill bugs do equally as much damage as the sod webworms do. And then the third culprit is the sod webworm. And those are the, the moths that that we see flying through the lawn usually in the latter part of July, first part of August and they lay eggs and those eggs hatch out and they turn into sod webworms and they look just like that. The sod webworms are probably about again three quarters of an inch to an inch long and they can do really a lot of damage in a very short amount of time. And they just sit right on the surface of the soil so those sod webworms they're sitting run on the surface of the soil and they nibble the grass right off and so they don't really do a lot of damage to the root system they're more right on the surface and you just are able to pull big clumps of grass out for all three of those insects there's quite a few things we can do to try and control those the first thing we need to do is to mow our grass a little bit taller leaving your grass longer especially during the summertime three and a half to four inches tall will discourage a lot of these insects from actually coming through and laying their eggs in in your lawn and then having the eggs hatch out and having their their larva or the grubs nibbling on your grass so by mowing taller you can really alleviate a lot of the problems that you might have with insects because they don't like that longer grass if you've got a real short you know trim lawn insects are much more likely to come in there the second thing you can do is you can start incorporating some different varieties of grass seed into your lawn that the insects don't like. So there's quite a few varieties of, of turf type rye and quite a few varieties of uh, turf type fescue that look very nice in the lawn. They are very similar to your Kentucky bluegrass. They've got a nice deep dark appearance. They can handle really sunny sh spots. They can handle really shady locations. And by incorporating a lot of these new varieties of grass into the lawn, you can pretty much prevent insect damage because they don't like to eat that grass. And so um, overseeding your lawn with some newer varieties, especially in August and September, you can introduce newer varieties of grass into your lawn. They don't need as much water. They uh, stay green longer and the insects don't like them as much. And so you can pretty much eliminate a lot of your insect activity just by the variety of grass that you're growing in your lawn. But if you have an existing lawn and you're going to try and start incorporating some new grasses into it, but you still want to get those insects under control, we have two options. Uh, the grub free zone from high yield is a granulated insecticide. It's a, a season long protective insecticide that you can apply once, water it in, and then it will last for about two and a half to three months controlling any insects that may be damaging your lawn. It does work systemically so it's absorbed up through the root system, stays inside the, the grass, and anybody that comes and nibbles on the grass eats the root system it's going to kill them so it controls all kinds of insects especially all the ones that are doing damage to our lawn uh, very effectively very easily just uh, apply it with a broadcast spreader or a push 
spreader and then water it in and it will last for about three months. So if you're applying it the first part of July, middle part of July, it's going to last until October without any problems and that will take care of our insect season. If you need something a little bit quicker, it also comes in a liquid form. This is the high yield systemic insect spray and it's just a hose in. We can hook it right on the end of the hose, spray the problem area, spray the whole lawn and wherever you've had had problems with grubs or sod webworms in the past, um, this will be a great way to try and stop those before they do the damage. Uh, the liquid doesn't last quite as long as the granule. It'll probably give you about a month to six weeks, so you may have to do a second application, but it's a very easy way to apply this to your lawn and get your, your insects under control. So we're especially targeting sod webworms, billbugs, and white grubs. They're going to be doing damage to our lawns throughout the summertime.